Ever wondered why you're not shedding pounds despite maintaining a healthy diet? This, my friends, is the weight loss paradox. You're eating your fruits and veggies, cutting out junk food, yet the scale doesn't seem to budge. Intriguing, isn't it? But here's the thing. Not all healthy foods are created equal. Yes, you heard that right. Some foods, while marketed as healthy, may actually be holding you back from reaching your weight loss goals. It's not just about the quantity of food you consume, but the quality and the nutritional content that really counts. Understanding the effects of certain foods on your body can be a game changer. The hidden sugars, the sneaky calories, the deceptive health drinks, and those not so super superfoods are all part of this intricate puzzle. Unraveling this paradox is crucial if you're serious about losing weight. And let, let me tell you, you might be surprised to find some of your favorite healthy foods on this list. First on the list, beware of foods disguised as low-fat. Have you ever picked up a low-fat yogurt, salad dressing, or a pack of cookies, thinking you're making a healthier choice? Well, you might have fallen into the hidden sugar trap. You see, when food manufacturers remove fat from their products, they often replace it with sugar to keep the taste appealing. But here's the catch. This added sugar can lead to weight gain. Let's break it down. Sugar, specifically fructose, is metabolized differently than other carbs. Instead of being used for immediate energy, it's often stored as fat in your liver. Over time, this can lead to increased belly fat and even conditions like fatty liver disease. What's more, foods high in added sugar tend to be less filling. This means you might find yourself hungry again soon after eating leading to overeating and, yes, you guessed it, weight gain. Now let's talk about the importance of reading food labels. You might be thinking, I don't need to worry about that. I don't eat a lot of sweets. But sugar hides in many places you wouldn't expect. It's not just in your cookies and candies. It's in your salad dressings, your pasta sauces, your bread, and even your so-called healthy smoothies. To avoid this hidden sugar trap, start by checking the Nutrition Facts label. Look for the line that says, sugars. Keep in mind that 4 grams of sugar is equivalent to about 1 teaspoon. If you see a product with 20 grams of sugar, that's 5 teaspoons. But don't stop there. Look at the ingredients list, too. Sugar has many aliases like high fructose corn syrup, dextrose, and fruit juice. Concentrate. If you see these near the top of the list, that product is likely high in sugar. So the next time you're shopping, don't be fooled by the low-fat label. Instead, Take a moment to check the sugar content. Because, remember, low-fat doesn't always mean weight loss friendly. Next up, let's talk about nuts and dried fruits. These tasty treats are often hailed as the superheroes of the snack world. They're packed with nutrients and offer a quick energy boost. However, it's all too easy to go overboard with these healthy snacks. You see, they're often high in calories and can contribute to weight gain if consumed in large quantities. Imagine this. You sit down to enjoy a handful of almonds. You're feeling good about your choice. After all, almonds are a great source of healthy fats, protein, and fiber. But did you know that a single handful of almonds can contain around 160 calories? That's about the same as a small slice of pizza. Now let's consider dried fruits. They're a convenient and tasty way to increase your fruit intake. But they can be a bit of a double-edged sword. When fruits are dried, their natural sugars become concentrated, and their volume decreases. This makes it all too easy to consume more than you realize. For instance, a cup of fresh grapes has about 60 calories, but a cup of raisins, which are simply dried grapes, can pack a whopping 430 calories. That's a significant jump, isn't it? This isn't to say you should avoid these snacks entirely, far from it. Nuts and dried fruits are a great source of essential nutrients and can be a part of a balanced diet. But like with any food, portion control is crucial. Consider pre-portioning your snacks into single serving sizes. This can help you avoid mindless munching and keep your calorie intake in check. Alternatively, try mixing them with lower calorie foods, for example, adding a sprinkle of nuts to a salad or a handful of dried fruit to your morning oatmeal. So. What's the takeaway here? Nuts and dried fruits are a nutritious choice, but they're also sneaky calorie culprits. Enjoy these snacks, but remember moderation is key. 
Think your green juice or smoothie is helping your weight loss journey? Well, let's take a deeper dive into that. You've probably heard it a thousand times. Drink your greens, they're good for you. And while this statement isn't entirely false, it's not the whole truth either. Many of these so-called healthy drinks can be deceptive, hiding high amounts of sugar and calories beneath their vibrant green allure. Take store-bought smoothies, for instance. They're convenient, sure, but they can also be a sugary trap. Even those marketed as all-natural or no-added sugars often contain fruit juices or purees, which, surprise, surprise, are loaded with sugar. When consumed in excess, these sugars can lead to weight gain, not loss. And what about those green juices? They're packed with veggies, so they must be good, right? Well, not always. Many commercially produced green juices have sugar content equivalent to a can of soda. That's right, folks. Your healthy green juice might be no better than a fizzy drink. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you should completely ditch these drinks, but it's crucial to be mindful of what's really in them. If you're whipping up a smoothie at home, opt for whole fruits rather than juices, and consider adding some healthy fats and proteins, like a spoonful of nut butter or a scoop of protein powder. And when it comes to hydration, nothing beats good old water. It's calorie-free, sugar-free, and the best choice for your body. But if you're looking for a little flavor, why not try herbal tea? It's a great way to hydrate and can offer a variety of health benefits, depending on the herbs you choose. So, next time you reach for that green juice or smoothie, remember, all that glitters is not gold. Be mindful of what you're sipping on, not just what you're eating. Lastly, let's debunk some superfoods. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that because a food is labeled as a superfood, it's automatically beneficial for weight loss. But let's take a closer look at some of these so-called superfoods. Quinoa, for example, is hailed as a protein-packed grain, rich in fiber and minerals. And while that's true, it's also high in calories. Just one cup of cooked quinoa packs around 220 calories. If you're not careful, those calories can quickly add up, especially if you're using quinoa as a base for your meals. Then there's the darling of the health food world, the avocado. Packed with heart-healthy fats, fiber, and a host of vitamins, avocados are often touted as a perfect food for weight loss. But here's the catch. One medium avocado contains around 240 calories. That's about the same as a small chocolate bar. So, if you're adding avocado to your meals without considering the extra calories, you could be unwittingly sabotaging your weight loss efforts. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you should avoid these foods. They are, indeed, packed with nutrients that are good for your health. What I am saying, though, is that portion control is key. Even superfoods need to be consumed in moderation. Remember, weight loss isn't just about eating healthy foods. It's about creating a calorie deficit, burning more calories than you consume. So, even if you're eating the healthiest foods in the world, if you're consuming more calories than you're burning, you won't lose weight. So the next time you reach for a superfood, ask yourself, am I eating this in moderation? Because remember, even superfoods can be villains in your weight loss journey if you're not careful. So there you have it, the healthy foods that could be sabotaging your weight loss. Let's quickly recap what we've uncovered today. We've delved into the paradox of weight loss and how sometimes what we perceive as healthy might be a wolf in sheep's clothing. We've revealed the hidden sugars lurking in many of our everyday foods, stealthily adding to our calorie count. We've also explored the sneaky calorie culprits that can catch us off guard, even when we think we're making smart food choices. We've shone a spotlight on the deceptive health drinks that can be chock full of sugars and calories, and we've questioned the halo around some so-called superfoods that may not be as super as they seem. The key takeaway here is the importance of portion control, reading food labels, and being vigilant about hidden sugars and calories, even in healthy foods. Remember, it's not just about eating healthy, but eating smart. Thanks for watching.